Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to permanently erase all the data on your Android phone or Android device. Now the first thing to do is back up all of your data that you want to keep because doing this method will completely erase all the data on the phone and make it non-recoverable. So first thing you need to do is download or shred it and install it onto your mobile device. This is going to allow us to overwrite all of the data that is on the phone so it makes it non-recoverable. So if you have sensitive information on here like photos and other stuff like that, then this program will completely overwrite all of that data and make it non-recoverable. It will also remove it and delete it from your phone. You have to give it access to the photos and media and files on your device. So allow that to go through and this is the actual program here. You can erase just folders and other things like that to make it non-recoverable. But I'll show you here some of the things you can do. So erase full storage and you've also got wiped empty space. You probably need to do both of these to be 100% sure that there's no data on here left after you do a factory reset. So we'll do the erase full storage first. But before we do that, I want to go into the settings here. Inside the settings of this application will give us access to uh, security settings that we're going to use for our overwrite here. So you can see secure erase is on. We've got the check mark in here. Next, we need to select the next option, which is going to be shredding algorithm. This is going to basically let us uh, select which one we want. So choose which version you want to do. I'm going to be doing random filler, but there is more aggressive uh, ones on here which take a lot longer to do because they're two passes and three passes so bear that in mind next we're going to do the pass count so the pass count is how many times it's going to erase the data so go into the pass count and you can see it's set to one and that's going to be good enough for me uh, but if you do more it will take longer to actually erase that data so with all of those set you can set and deploy a security lock on here as well. You can put your pin in here and your email and put a security answer in here and this will stop anyone from gaining access. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this as is. You can choose more aggressive ones and this will erase all of the data and no one will be able to recover your photos or your sensitive information. So we're going to erase the full storage first, but if you wanted to do wipe empty space after this, then you can do to be more secure. So what we're going to do is click confirm, and this will go off and start to erase all of those areas on your phone, which is your uh, photos and things like that. And uh, it's going to take a bit of time because it needs to do a random uh, wipe on this uh, particular area. So it does take a bit of time. So Go and make yourself a cup of tea and then you can come back. You should see down the bottom right hand side there saying background. You can let this run in the background and it will basically run the application in the background. You can't really use your phone while you're doing this because it does uh, take up uh, quite a bit of resources. So let that work away. Now while that's working away, I'm just going to put the program down there. And basically what I'm going to do is go to settings here. And what you want to do here is you want to... Uh, remove any sort of accounts that you have on your phone. This will be your Google account or any other type of account that you have on your phone. So just sign out and then remove those accounts from your phone. And when you do wiping of the free space, it will remove all of that information from your phone. So I'm going to uninstall these and remove them from my phone. And uh, basically when that's done, uh, once the wipe is finished, you can do the wiping of free space if you wish. You can remove the account here like so. And you'll also have your account if it's like a Samsung phone. It'll have a Samsung account here as well. And you will need to sign in and remove that from your phone once you've done a data uh, wipe on the uh, phone here. So you can see the random filler has now been completed and all that sensitive data has been securely erased on the phone. Now, if you do want to run the wipe empty space, then now's the time to do it. It does take a bit of time, but it will wipe any sort of free space that was left behind. And this will stop any data or any traces of data being left behind. Another really secure way of uh, securing your data is to encrypt your phone. You can use encryption software to encrypt the whole phone and then do a factory reset. This means that anyone who tries to restore the phone back 
the files that they're going to recover are going to be encrypted and they won't be able to gain access to those files if you don't want to do a secure erase of your phone. So you can use the encryption method. Once you've done all of this, you can restart your phone and you should be back at the phone here. And you can see all of the photos and videos have been permanently and securely erased from the phone. There is no way someone will be able to use data recovery software to recover any of this data on the phone. And if you put an encryption on here right now and then did a factory reset, there is no way they will be able to get any data off of that phone because it will be previously encrypted. And that is another secure method of erasing all your data. So once this is all done, all of my accounts are uninstalled. There is no accounts left on it apart from the Samsung account, which obviously needs to be still on here because we need to log in to do a factory data reset on the phone. So we're going to go into settings here and now do a factory reset of this phone. So let's go down to this section here and we're going to go to reset and you should see factory data reset here. So I'm going to click on this one here and this will take me to the section where I'll be able to do a factory reset. Now it's going to show uh, your email account for a, a Samsung phone or something like that, but that's okay. But once we've done the factory reset, that will be gone. Um, but what I'm going to do here, it's going to show you, it's going to erase all of this data here. We've already securely erased all the photos and stuff like that. So click delete all, and it's going to ask you to log into your Samsung account here. And uh, this is just so they can uh, verify that it's you that wants to erase the phone. So I've already logged in and I've pushed enter, and now it's going to do a factory reset of our phone and it's erasing all of the data on the phone now if you've done that extra step i.e wipe free space or even encrypted your phone uh, before you did this it's going to make the data impossible to recover so let let that go through its paces it does take a fair bit of time doing the uh, factory reset of a phone but once that's done you should see something looking like this saying let's go do not reset up your phone this is for you to then give it away or sell it or whatever it is you're going to be doing with that phone because this is for the next person that uses it and you can safely give away your phone or sell it to someone else knowing the fact that they will never be able to get your data back or any sensitive information that was stored on that phone before you give it away or sold it to the next person so it's really important that you make sure that all that data is removed from the phone because a factory reset doesn't really remove all of the sensitive information and this can easily be recovered by any sort of person that wants to recover data on that phone. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Special shout out to my YouTube members. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.